On the 16th of June, 1936, a Tuesday, Belgian troops were mobilized to protect public services as thousands more workmen joined the miners already out on strike. José María Gil Robles y Quinones stood in the Cortes Generales and read out statistics. And this dude was a Spanish politician, leader of the CEDA and a prominent figure in the period leading up to the Spanish Civil War. And he was Minister of War from May to December 1935. Anyway, he read out some statistics which he challenged the government to disprove. These statistics showed that in the last 48 hours, 65 people have been killed, 36 churches have been destroyed by fire, and 34 more have been severely damaged. Prime Minister Quiroga did not dispute the statistics, but blamed the country's strife on fascists. Right? And that is not this guy, Quiroga. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, 24 people died when a ferry sank into the Danube in Budapest, and the Havern accident occurred when a Junkers Ju-52 aircraft, which is a transport plane designed and manufactured by the German aviation company Junkers, crashed into the mountain Liehesten in uh, Norway, killing all seven passengers. It was the first fatal aviation accident in Norway. That's it for the facts today. Let's uh, roll the time and hope something goes wrong in Spain today. According to the facts of the day, it's uh, very likely, but uh, I think we'll have to wait a little bit longer, most likely. And that's all good. There's some missing equipment production. Big storm in Poland. Really love how these cities light up at night. It's really cool. All right, so our volunteer forces have returned home uh, in Hinterpommern. Uh, these two. So the 24th Infantry Division here. Uh, we're going to rename that, uh, if at all possible. Yeah. To the... The... Ah, shit. I cannot do that with my keyboard. Um, let me figure something out. Ah, nice. That works. I had to copy-paste it from somewhere else. From Abyssinia. The Leuven von Abyssinia. Very good suggestion, that one. Uh, so that is now our first named regiment. Very good. And I'm going to reassign these guys to... Um, let's say... Stand on the... Polish border. Yes. Alright. So they're gonna... Oh, I accidentally moved an hour, but tomorrow they're gonna make their way over there. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.